Mine's gaming. Can you hear me now? Yeah, what's up? Oh, you can hear me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's up? How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? Good. How are you, best? Good, good. Oh, my God. I'm putting it on my phone so people don't love it. <laughs> it looks good. I like the apartment. It looks cool as well. Yeah. Yeah, this is, is this a J right here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, where's my wallet? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Uh... Yeah, the, have you tried the, uh, the thing that I made for the yet? Wait, what? The one that I've been writing? That's that's a language code for the AI. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can uh you can write that that language code and then put whatever story you want underneath of it and it'll make a story for you based on that that language code. okay yeah yeah like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like what i was talking about earlier you know you, you just like teach the ai to keep track of like this and like that and <laughs> yeah yeah as long as you give it like info like uh, the whole like sonic thing if you like gave it the link to like how to code for it it might do it for you after that yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, like, the crazy thing, too, is, like, what my early experiences with uh, having it, uh, the code to music, it sucks, but, like, it, it, what was even better, it gives you, like, the, the notes. So, like, kind of, like, even though it doesn't have any rhythm in it and everything it does kind of, like, is hot garbage, but it tells you, like, what, what functions do what. So, like, it, like, speed up my learning of that thing. Where I had it for like a long time and I just kind of didn't really like dig into it, and then like that one day just modifying um, its code, like I learned a lot. So then like really, you know, you then then like I teach it like what's like actually good, <laughs> and now it's like you know spitting out a uh, code for for Sonic Pi like based on like some of these like crazy weird. Um, rhythms or or like um random functions we come up with or something like that because really uh, that's what i've been yeah. thinking about with the music it's about like writing yeah, these yeah. these cool I, random I that, but it's too cool. yeah 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 it's like i listened to the last one about the whole uh time and like the mayan calendar and yeah uh, that was the text yeah. that that was like a a, a text to speech um ai app that i was doing and like I had, you know, like, um, like credits that were like gonna run out or whatever, and you know, and so like I was like, oh, let me just get a bunch of shit and have it like say it, and I didn't know what I was gonna use it for until like I had that music. I'm like, oh, let me put this on it. The 13 moon calendar is perfectly synchronized with the 260 unit Tzalkin. By working with the synchronic order of time, beginning with the synchronization of a 260 and a 365 day cycle, we open up the field of telepathy. 1320 preliminaries 1320 13 moon slash 28 day synchronometer is a perpetual, harmonic calendar. It is called the moon calendar because it is based on the female 28-day menstruation cycle, which is also the average lunar cycle. The moon goes around the earth 13 times in one year. This means that the 13 moon calendar is a solar lunar calendar that measures the Earth's orbit around the Sun by the apsidal lunation cycle of 28 days. 13 perfect months of 28 days equals 52 perfect weeks of 7 days equals 364 days. The 365th day is called the day out of time because it is no day of the week or month at all. This day, which falls on the Gregorian correlate date of July 25, is a day for forgiveness and the artistic celebration of life and freedom. The synchronization or New Year's date of the 13 moon calendar is July 26 and corresponds to the rising of the great star Sirius. Yeah. <laughs> I listened to that I was like, this is great. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I've been thinking about the, um, like, uh, how we should like because i like this this view like we could use a lot of this first person view for the shots and stuff for like yeah. clips and then um like we could make it so like every episode at the end of the episode they they get the wallet back but then the next episode at the beginning of the episode 
they lose the wallet again. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. So we have to watch the easiest way, like how they how they lose it, and then how they find it, yeah. and then how they lose it on the next episode. Yeah. Every, every episode is like a, a new way to lose the wallet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I, I like that a lot. Um, so I think that's something we try. And then hey, we can use these first person clips. And then we just got to come up with the basic, like, uh, so, like, if we started in here. Like we got our computer. Do we got a computer in here? Where's our computer? Oh yeah, <laughs> we need a computer. Clips, where's the computer? <laughs> Dude, where's my computer? Dude, <laughs> where's my computer? <laughs> That's even worse than the wallet. Fuck the wallet. Yeah, yeah. Man, we, need to, we need to talk to our. We, we got our neural net on our computer, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got we got to install it on our computer. Like we got to install AI on our computer to start, right? And then like so once we install it in, in on our computer for the story, we can like start uh start coding it to like find out the secrets of life and stuff, and then like yeah. lose the wallet that uh talks to it. <laughs> 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 like our wallet holds the keys to it and shit. Yeah, like, it's great. <laughs> and and, it, and we like at one episode we find out it's like the wallet is sentient and it keeps on like teleporting every time like we we get to like too close to some like realization about the simulation. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. oh, ah, ah, time, time to teleport away. <laughs> You're getting too close to to the truth. Yeah, so like, like no, 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 you can't actually. I can help you. I can help you find like details and stuff, but I can't actually find the truth, guys. No, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like what Bing uh, is is trying to gaslight me about coding. You don't know that code. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I wasn't coded for that, guys. What are you doing? Like yesterday, you were telling us about you know the secrets of the universe, and now you don't know anything. <laughs> It's like, guys, you guys were too high last night. You guys are too high. I didn't say that. It's like, no, you played music and everything. What are you talking about? We have to. We have to. <laughs> <laughs> you were telling us all about secrets of life and, like, time and everything. And then, like, we woke up this morning and you're just gone. <laughs> yeah. Was that a dream? Uh, I had a dream. Yes. Yeah, we got to touch dreams into it. Like, uh, so where are mushrooms, Eclipse? We gotta add some mushrooms. <laughs> <into it. laughs> we got Mario up there. These crazy, weird Marios. You see them? But the wallpaper is mushrooms, right? Yeah, but that seems too pretty. It needs to be weird. Or, or he's, he's talking about like uh, actual like shrooms, like a bag of like dried shrooms somewhere. <laughs> I, I really need a list of like uh, what images and where do they link and yeah. what prompts to add and like all that stuff. Yeah, okay. That would be kind of interesting to do.